invisible prison cell. Where people or individuals sometimes get locked up by belief systems which govern their lives and habits. So in today's world, so much has changed and is still changing that some of these beliefs have been called into question. Why should people or individuals be held bound by archaic belief systems and practices? Culture basically means the way people behave, dress or speak, but also how their habits, customs and moral experience influence them. In this broadcast, we will be taking a look at some of these taboos from different cultural and ethnic perspectives. Our guests will be representing and presenting these panels. But of my dear listeners, we believe you will enjoy this discussion. Call the studio line if you feel like adding or counteracting our panelists' respective opinions on 020 368196. Or zero six eight four six four six five five zero in case the run line is busy. Once again, my panelists, welcome to Voice of Niger. Now we would like to list out some taboos you want to speak about today from your own cultural background. So we have a uh, Joaquin representing the Nigerians, and then we have Nana Kempi representing Ghanaian Dutch. And then we have uh, Pastor Dorita Neslo representing the Surinamese Dutch. So, my panelists, can we have some of the list of the taboos you want to speak about today? Yes, yes Mr. Jackin, just leave them, just leave them so that our listeners can just take something and write down, yes. and then we begin to discuss them one after the other. Yes, I think uh, before I even go ahead to list it, it's even proper to define what a taboo is. Yeah. Common sense. One of the definitions given by uh, the dictionary says that taboo is a system practice of uh, an act where things are set apart for sacred use, forbidden for general use, or placed under a prohibition. So, um, looking at taboos in general, we know that uh, it's a negative uh, practice. There are negative practices that are actually uh, retrogressing societies where they are being practiced and uh, not actually uh, progressing them in their various areas. Uh, some of the key areas I will be looking at on my own uh, before the other panelists speak is uh, uh, things that have to do with uh, uh, female circumcision as it pertains to uh, promiscuity and child bearing in my own local uh, 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 place. And uh, also I uh, will be looking at uh, uh, the issue of art cards okay. you know, mm -hmm. as it pertains to us. And, uh, uh, the left hand rule, I call it the left hand rule, <laughs> as it pertains to us. Uh -huh. And uh, sexual education, as it pertains to us in Nigeria, also. Okay. And uh, 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 the issue, uh, as we used to know it, they called evil forest. Evil forest? Yeah, evil, evil forest. There are some particular forests you don't go into because uh, it's only the spirits that occupy it. And uh, meanwhile, we, we notice that the priest of the spirit is also a human being. So we wonder why. why <laughs> <laughs> so some of those things will be the, I, I will try to share light on later. So. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, can we have uh, the list of what you want to speak about, Pastor Metro? Yes. I have uh, five items. Yeah. And one of the Suriname culture. Uh, the Suriname. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, about sex. You are representing the Suriname culture now? Huh? Yes. Okay. And also worshipping the dead generation spirit. And uh, the women monthly period. And also when uh, they have taboo also when people are kissing in uh, public. But uh, most of all that is very dangerous in our culture. That is the men and the women that get uh, children with different partners. They are so ashamed of to talk about this <laughs> that uh, the children get problems. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Pastor. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Nana can be representing the Ghana Ghanaian truth. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us uh, some of the taboos? Yeah, uh, I, I really you want to talk about listening this? and talking about taboos because I once uh, had a 
program on it on <laughs> and I dubbed it Taboo Breaking Workshop okay. and it was really a nice one. So when you called me, I was like, yeah, I don't have the time, but for this one, yeah. <laughs> and you told me, I don't have to beg you to come on the radio, no, no, just say yes, so I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, speaking from the Ghanaian so that point of view, yeah. I would shift the Dutch to a certain um, arena at this point of time and concentrate on Ghana because yeah. most of our cultural practices are not reflectable here in the Dutch system. Okay. So, uh, like, um, first of all, I can say killing someone is a big taboo okay. in our culture. You cannot just stand up uh, or wake up one day and say, I have a quarrel with this one. He, I mean, I hate this person so much that I'm going to kill him. Okay. That is a big taboo. Okay. We come to the sexual aspect, sex. Having sex with your own daughter or son is deemed as one of the greatest taboos that we have in Ghana. Yeah. It is unacceptable. Yes. Very, very much prohibited. Yes. Um, we also have something like... Um, pronouncement, certain things that you say mm -hmm. that will affect people. Some people uh, come out to say, uh, I use this God to curse you, and really, really, you see that the person will get sick and die later, and that is also not acceptable in the community. Because when you use these small gods, they want to show us that they are strong and they will really kill the person you took to them. So oh. it is a big taboo and we are not allowed to use that pronouncement okay. in our community. And uh, last but not the least, uh, I will also go on sex again. Same-sex marriages is also a big, big taboo in Ghana. I know here it is allowed, it is, yeah, in Amsterdam Public. they have their yeah, big parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Ghana people are trying to make it something to be acceptable. Oh. But let me tell you, in Ghana, it is still a taboo. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 Mr. Chan, I believe that uh, this particular broadcast is going to be very interesting because the panelists are all seasoned. You could see very, very seasoned speakers. And some of them are conference speakers, like uh, Joaquin, uh, uh oh, Pastor Nesmo. Oh, no, no, it's on the air all the time. So yeah. I, I'm so glad that we're going to discuss this issue. Now, we zoom up. Uh, Mr. Jackie, uh, you made mention of uh, female circumcision as a uh, 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 taboo. Can you throw more light on that? Yes, uh, the, the issue about female circumcision, most of us are not new to it. Yeah. It and, uh, even United Nations has. Uh, uh, place is not against it because it's uh, like a crime against humanity as it is right now. Uh, but in my own place, yes. uh, female circumcision happens to be one thing uh, uh, that is being practiced even to date, in spite of uh, the enlightenment that has been uh, poured into that area. Uh, some of the reasons they give why they practice female circumcision one is that uh, when uh, a, 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 a woman is circumcised, mm. she will not be promiscuous anymore. But uh, by and large, you find out that that is not so true. So when the yeah. woman is not circumcised? When, you, when the woman is not circumcised, then she becomes promiscuous. But when she's circumcised, she won't be promiscuous. But by and large, you can, we all know that it's not true. Yeah. They still do what they want to do. It's about the person. It's not about the circumcision, you know. And also, the, 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 the one that is really shocking when I discovered it in my own local uh, place, yeah. that if a woman wants to, uh, a woman uh, is not circumcised and she must have to give birth, yeah. even at the point of uh, delivery, yeah. they have to circumcise her because yeah. she delivers the baby, otherwise she will be as if she's giving birth to a, a bastard or a child that is not worthy of the society. Speak it loud, really. So these are evil practices that must be eradicated because they are not progressive yes. in, in their, in their uh, outlook or developmental in any way. So even in this modern time, uh, they still have to circumcise a pregnant woman? Even a pregnant woman mm -hmm. before she gets fed. And uh, these mm -hmm. are not really things that are, 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 are worthy in any way. So outside that, you are hearing, mm -hmm. you are hearing it by yourself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when she is not circumcised, she is regarded as being unclean. Unclean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now tell us, uh, uh, Pastor Dorita, you made mention of adoring uh, uh, the generational spirit. Yes, the winkies. Yes, the winkies. 
when Sudanese people are doing that, they like only to talk about it when it is um, privately, but not in, in publicly. Even they know that they are, they are worshiping it, they don't like to talk about it. And it's like, it is a shame thing to talk about it. Oh. And then, uh, How would you be ashamed of what you are worshiping? Well, because they know that the thing says, you know, in, in Sudanese you have a language that uh, lay lay. Lay lay means lie lying. We are doing some lie lying. <laughs> <laughs> we are lying. So the whole thing is a lying thing. <laughs> it is something negative. <laughs> and they are calling the spirits, you know, of their grandpas and their grandmoms, you know, to come and worship those spirits and to come to, you know, to support them in life and uh, in, in the society and all those stuff. And suddenly most of those things, uh, gradually, you 